This video could save you hundreds of dollars. We're talking hot water heaters today. When was the last time you flushed yours? I woke up one morning and my bathtub looked like this. I promise there's nothing in that bathtub except for water. So I called the plumber. Luckily they could come the very next day and he talked to me about what I need to do. And my biggest fear is that I'm gonna have to buy a new hot water heater. This house is about seven years old now. It shouldn't need a new water heater. We actually have two. So he came and I learned way more than I expected from this that will change what I do in my house from now on because getting a new hot water heater is super expensive. It's not something you want. And I'm really into saving money on the big expenses and doing maintenance on my home so I don't have those and to try to make my appliances and everything last as long as possible. So what did I do? I asked Facebook and here's what everyone said. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We'd love to see you again. He's already here. Let's talk. The only reason you'd need a new water heater is if the water heater itself started leaking. So you'd have water pooling up in here um, or you'd have a puddle of water running to your drain or something like that. So what's that buildup in sediment right there that's kind of rust colored? So that's most likely from like your TNP or something. It could be some sort of leak. It could be um sweat from a water heater heating up that cold water it just condensates and causes that water to escape to the outside of that that tank and then run back out if you were leaking you'd, you'd have water here okay i'm really glad to hear that he's not telling us that we have to get a new <sighs> water heater i was worried um I mean, I could sell you new water no, heater if no. you absolutely want one, but no. you don't need we one. We just need to flush this one. Yeah. And I've heard this is something you can do yourself at home. I've never tried it. Absolutely. So what you could do, I mean, I could do it for you today if you'd like, is just take a, a short little hose. There's what if you don't have a short hose? Long. You could use a long one. It doesn't, oh. it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Um, a short hose is just the easiest because you just hook it up and then you go right there and you're done. So you're gonna hook, we're going to hook up the hose to that part yep, on both of drain. these. Yep. And then that right one. There too. And you don't have to do them at there. the same time. You can do them one and then the other. Um, what I would do is do this one first okay. and then do that one. Because? Because this one pushes its water into here. Oh, so okay. if you turn this, you put your hose on here and run it in, then you're taking all your dirty water from this, pushing it into that one. Okay, and we have to do it more than once. Yeah, so you do, you do this one, turn it on for 10 seconds or so. How do you turn it on? It on? Just a flathead screwdriver. Oh. Get a flathead, you'd stick it inside there That's how, and, and you rotate just it. Turn it to the yep. left? Yep, it's just a quarter turn too, so it'll only turn halfway. Okay, so. and then it'll take like a few minutes to do that. And then I do it again until it runs clear? Or can I even tell? Yeah, you can, you can run it until it runs clear. Okay. Um, or you can just turn it on, count to 10, turn it off, and then let it settle. So you'd wait another minute to two minutes or whatever and make sure nobody's using any water in the home. Okay. And then you'd turn it back on, run it for 10 seconds, turn it off. And you do that over and over and over again until you're not getting any dirty water out at all. Okay. So the easiest way for me to know that I'm not getting any dirty water out is I actually use a five gallon bucket. And I oh. fill that five gallon bucket up and then I turn okay. it off. Okay. And then you can then you can see. see. Yeah. Okay, exactly. that makes sense. Then dump it and then do it again. Fill that bucket up. So it's going to be five gallons coming out? Yeah. You okay. Got, you got 50 gallons or 40 gallons in each one of these. Tanks. Okay. And then your water supply to your system will actually refill that. So you could fill that five gallon bucket up a million times and never, ever clean this thing all the way out. Oh. With water. Okay. Unless what you did was turn the water off. Uh -huh. you turn that valve up there, and then what you'd do is you'd only get 40 gallons out of it. So you'd fill that five gallon bucket up. Put up eight times if you were to turn the water off. You don't need to turn the water off, you just leave that water on. You want that pressure, you want that to push that out because that could be sediment at the bottle and that could just clog your drain. Should we be doing this like on a regular basis? Um, once a year minimum, Oh. or maximum, once a year maximum would be like the recommended by the manufacturer. You can maybe do it once every two years. Oh no, the year. lights just oh, we're power went out. <laughs> oh, we have automatic lighting in here. <laughs> okay, this is a gas water heater, right? This is a gas water heater. Right yeah, there. you can yep. shoot it. And we're, he's gonna go get a bucket. We need a bucket and that's it, right? We just need a bucket that's all, and this hose. Yeah, 
The instructions are very complicated. You want me to read them to no, you? No, no. Let's no. just try it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> it says, monthly drain off a gallon of water to remove silt and sediment. That's it. That's it. Okay, great. Thanks now, for Now, that's all help. we're going to do for sure. And then if we're inspired, I'm going to play with this thing. What's that? That is a pressure temperature valve and you check the seating of that oh that's too complex for me it's a hose from a laundry so i knew it could take hot water without oh, cause any garden, danger because garden hose might not good garden hose might not but it's you're not going to do it for very long it's got the instructions now those are the instructions okay let's try it you don't uh, have to use a bucket, but we want to use it to see we what we get. We want to see if there's silt. This is supposed to be done monthly, but it's been seven years, so we'll see what we get. I'm so curious. What I'm going to do is screw this on to that valve. Uh, see, ours has a drain you know, right there, so you can see that we can't we do that. But you couldn't reach, right? It wouldn't fit. That's not a long enough hose to go. Well, not. I could route it on the other side. And it would probably make it barely. And it might. But okay. even if it spilled on the floor, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Now we're going to have to use some kind of a tool to turn on the water in there. And so we're getting a big screwdriver to do that. Okay, so this valve will turn off both the hot water. This is both the cold water and the hot water. That's both of those. This is just the hot water side. You know, cold water in, hot water out. So it's just the side now. Let me make sure I get the screwdriver on there right. Okay. <gasps> oh my goodness, look at that! Ah, there's definitely sediment. Okay, this is surprising i didn't know what to expect i wonder what ours will look like <gasps> so my father-in-law is teaching me this and then i'm going to try it at my house let's That's see how idea. much yep, it is. yeah wow i want to know have you been have you ever drained your hot water heater before and if you haven't are you going to do it now that you see this video let me know in the comments i'm super curious because um, my father-in-law has lived a long time and he's never done this so i'm getting a lesson <laughs> A lot earlier that I can start doing this and hopefully get more use and better performance out of my water heater. Save money. Okay, I wonder if it's gonna overflow because it's gonna drain the entire thing. No. Is it off yet? No. And it seems like it's gonna be hot, so if it overflows. Oh, oh phew. I didn't know this was gonna have so much suspense. Okay. And you have to do the whole thing though, right? We have to keep No, it. just a gallon. Oh, just a gallon. Yeah. Okay. Just one gallon, everyone. So, that, that's it. That's We're done. It. Okay, now you can put that down the drain. I or can, I think I'll, instead of running it down the drain with all that sediment in it. Oh, right. I'll, maybe I'll take, if I can't carry it without spilling it. But What are you going to uh, do? Put it outside? Yeah. In the yard? Okay. Yeah. Well, that was it. Everybody knows how now, so you have no That's excuse. why it is, you know, why people should do it is because... It's not very complicated. No, but it's something we always forget and don't think about. Well, it's, as I say, <laughs> I never reviewed the instructions on how to do it. Yeah, so when you get your new house or when you move in, and you, you should look at all your instruction manuals, and if they say to do maintenance, put it in your calendar right One away. Another little word of wisdom is keep your instructions. And I'm keeping them where they were, they were hung. There's like a pouch there to hang There's them. There's a pouch to hang them on. Did that come with a hot water heater? Yeah, everything was... And see, there's one for the heater right there. You only have to turn the screw that releases the water about an eighth of a revolution. So do it very slowly. It's not... It's going to come out very easily and then you don't have to turn it back to shut it off very much. Okay, so you don't have a big mess. That's the whole point. You don't want to have too much water coming out. Yeah. Just don't put it on plants because it might be saline. Yeah, because it probably has salt now. You can see the... Look at all that! Whoa! That's crazy! Yeah. We're running the hot water. Just or first it's cold. To see if it turns 
so hot that you don't want to leave your finger in it, which suggests to me at least that it's probably, you know, it's coming out the top of the tank, so it's, a run -up. it's not a poop, and I don't want to run a whole tank to do it, but at least it's not terribly dirty, so, okay? Looks good. Yeah. I want to do it myself. It's like $70 because it's just the cost of you coming out. Yeah, so what we're doing now is just the dispatch fee of $69. And that's just to come out to evaluate what's going on and, and give you the price. If you'd like for me to do the water heater drain flushing system, it's a level 2 of 185 with the addition of the $69.95. It's like 300 bucks. So it'd be $254.95. So I'm going to try this myself and I can do this. <laughs> It'll save me like 250 bucks. No, yeah. 200, 185 dollars. Yeah, 185 dollars. So I can, I can do it. Yeah, and then I we believe can... in you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, so it should be pretty, pretty simple. I mean, you just get your garden hose. It doesn't matter how long it is, but yeah, you just stick the end in. Make sure you do hold that hose on that bucket. Turn your valve on. Fill that bucket up. Turn that valve off. And it'll just rush out. Yeah, just like a, a hose outside. If you and so I have to hurry and turn it off. Be ready to turn it off. So when it's you full. could it did fill that bucket up in maybe 15 seconds. So fast. So. Okay. Not super fast, but yeah, you turn that. You <laughs> just leave your hand there with your valve, your screwdriver. See so it. Get your flathead slot, slide it into that slot, turn it on, and you'd hold that that hose. And okay. Then turn it off. Okay. It, it just the only thing you need to worry about is rotating your wrist, basically. So. Okay, I can do it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, That's absolutely. so helpful. Okay, I'm going to record myself doing this, and then I'm going to do it every year from now on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what you do um, in a continuous like thing, if you're going to do it every year, basically what you want to do is just look for the color, right? So if you turn it on one year and it comes out crystal clear, you're good then. Oh, you don't need year. to flush it that year. Yeah. If the next year you go turn it on and you get sediment, you get like build up or anything like that inside that, that fills your bucket, you get white flakes or brown flakes or whatever, then you need to get that rest of that out of there. So you dump that bucket, do it again, dump that bucket, do it in it until it's crystal clear. Okay. So I probably don't have to do this very often. Yeah. Okay. That's a good. Well, I'll be a pro as long as I can remember. <laughs> That's why I have it on video too. I can go back and check. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. I am glad because I was so worried that we were going to have to get spend a thousand dollars on a new water heater because it should last what how long so water heaters typically have a six-year warranty from the manufacturer and this is eight years old yeah so they last anywhere between seven to ten years is there anything i can do to make it last longer because they're kind of expensive we have two big ones so there are some tricks and things like that that you can do but it doesn't give you a warranty Yes. So there are additional things like anode rods and stuff like that that go inside the water heater. Oh. Um, and you just take the old anode rod out, put a new one back in. And you have to have a torque wrench. Okay. And it's... This is beyond my pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> and so there's nothing like any maintenance or anything that will prolong the use or how we use a water so heater. So a water softener. That prolongs That use. helps to prolong we have the that. light. Okay. Um, Draining or, or flushing the heater helps for a long life because it prevents buildup from building up. But you said we the heater. okay, but we only do that if we have buildup. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you spray it out and it's crystal clear, you don't have any buildup in the bottom of the heater, so you don't have to worry about it. Okay. So, um, and then just making sure that you are um, your pressure regulator in your home stays at a controlled pressure. So where you're at 65 pounds right now, that's what you want it to stay at. So if you huh. wanted to get a pressure gauge or something similar to what I have, this guy. Okay, then you um, can see. You can just get it at any plumbing supply store or anything like that. Okay. I would check your pressure on your water heater like I did where I hooked that up and yep. then you're gone. You, I would say check that every single time you go to flush it, you know? That okay. way, if your pressure, you know, like one day you test it, and then the next year you test it, and the first year you got 60 pounds, and the next year you got 100 pounds, your yeah. pressure regulator went bad somewhere in the, that year. And so okay. what you would need to do is replace your pressure regulator, and that'll help keep your water heater safe. So it's the pressure regulator that you need to replace, not something like adjusting the pressure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they have, they have a range of 25 to 75 pounds, which is direct from the manufacturer. 
then the manufacturer presets them to 50 pounds. Okay. Um, when they get installed, they usually don't get touched. Oftentimes, um, some people want, prefer to have higher pressure. So, oh, that's okay. You want higher pressure in your shower and stuff. Yeah. So you okay. get you're at 60 pounds, which is acceptable. It's within that range of 25 to 75 pounds. If your pressure in your home gets above 75 pounds, your pressure regulator has gone bad. It's no longer holding that pressure back and maintaining that pressure in your home. Okay. Just like your heart. Your heart has high blood pressure, you're putting too much pressure in your blood vessels and your blood is moving too quickly, you bleed a lot faster and things like that. So I like this, we're getting a health lesson too. Your, your <laughs> pressure regulator is your home's heart. If it's not maintained, your home will start bleeding through your faucets, through your water heaters, through your bathtub valve, your toilets. Those things will all start leaking. So those are... Those okay. Are okay, great. And so our city is flushing the water today, and I thought it was having to, it had to do with that, but it doesn't seem to have anything to do with that. It's just timing. So, yeah, when, when the, the water gets flushed, your city gets flushed, that water does turn that brown color because they're cleaning out the system. So you were the lucky person who turned it on, and it turns out that you turned it on the hot side most. So all that dirty, yucky water went into your water heater. Oh, uh, so it was so, caused by the yeah, city? most likely. <gasps> okay, then why didn't anyone else in my neighborhood have this colored water? They, maybe they didn't just, turn it on. Oh, yeah, I just had bad timing. You were, you were the first person. Uh, it's possible that if they were running water, they could have been using like a hose babe or something, and so all that dirty water just went out and into their yard anyway. They didn't notice it. Okay. Um, maybe they flushed the toilet and it just turned their toilet bowl brown a little bit, and they're like, oh, they flushed yeah. it again, yeah, you know? Uh-huh. So, but it was only hot water, so... Yeah. Okay. So it just, you were just the lucky person. Like, uh, uh, got all of it okay. into their water heater. Okay. <laughs> so I had to pay $70 to learn that, and I will never have to pay that again because now I know. Hey, I'm back in the bathroom. I'm really happy about everything. I learned so much today. Let me know if you learned something too. Give this video a thumbs up if you did, and go ahead and share it with anyone who you think who doesn't do maintenance on their hot water heater. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to put a link to my other video just up here that talks about home maintenance tips that you may not know that you need to be doing. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in that video.